Greetings from Taco Faithful. Thank you for joining me again this week. Once again, it's Larry Williams, OAW Commander in Chief, and I'm here to bring you my second QA video right here on Otaku Assemble. Weekly, as always, I'm here to bring you the latest in this week's QA video. Now, before I jump into the rest of the questions for my second QA video, I want to go ahead and address a question that I was asked last week that I felt I didn't do a good job in answering. That question came from Black Mick01 who asked, Larry, how do you stay motivated? And so right now I want to take this time to give a huge shout out and thank you to uh, YouTube user Harcar073 who in last week's video left this comment and he states he says, this is a good session. It's nice for people like us to ask questions to the man that brings us amazing vids each and every week. Larry, I don't know if you might see this comment, but you are my biggest role model. You give me motivation to go to school and get my degree and give me motivation to start writing again, which is my biggest hobby. I just wanted to say thank you, brother, for giving me the motivation, strength, and hope to keep going. So, uh, to Black Mick zero one, you asked, how do I stay motivated? That's what keeps me motivated. When users like Harcar073 send me comments or messages or anything like that, um, in which I see that they consider me as an inspiration to them, that sort of support, that feeds the fire for me to want to give back to them. So that's the type of thing that keeps me motivated. And once again, I want to thank Harcar073 for the great comment. Um, but with that said, let's go ahead and let's jump into the rest of these questions. I kind of opened Pandora's box in last week's Q&A video when I asked people to leave more questions because now I'm not sure how many of these things I can get through, but we'll see how many we can get through in the time allotted. So I'm going to pick up where I left off last week and I think I left off with one of Snowy Claire's questions. And I did. All right. So. Let's pick up from here. Now, the next questions come from the Duck Chick, and she asks, Have you read Token? I ask because I actually don't know, and I'm genu genu genuinely curious. Excuse me. Uh, yes, I have read Token. Um, out of, let's see, out of the four, okay, out of the Lord of the Rings books, so the three Lord of the Rings books and the Hobbit. Uh, actually, the only one that I've read in its entirety was The Return of the King. The other three, I've just read bits and pieces, but I have read Tolkien. Um, fantasy in general can be fairly rigid. What are some examples of fantasy that you enjoy that also bust open expectations in your opinion, besides GOT, of course? Hank, um, what other... What are some examples of fantasy that you enjoy? Um, as I've mentioned before in previous videos, I'm a huge fan of The Earth Sea Cycle by Ursula K. Le Guin. Those are my favorite books. I absolutely love those books. I'm a huge fan of those. Um, I do... I, 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 like, I like Tolkien. I think even though Tolkien is... is um, Tolkien's pretty hefty. Um, he kind of treads on being long winded actually no correction he is very long winded now that I think about it because uh, Tolkien's one of those writers where he'll spend you know pages upon pages just just describing a leaf so uh, <laughs> but uh, but I actually do like Tolkien um, I tell you though I don't care much for C.S. Lewis I don't um, he, he's too allegorical in my opinion uh, I don't, I don't, I don't care much for C.S. Lewis. Uh, let's see, other fantasy. No, well, no, you wouldn't consider them fantasy. That's, that's more dark. Well, dark fantasy, maybe. Nah, that's more science fiction. I'm, th I'm thinking about H.P. Lovecraft. That's not really fantasy. That's more dark fantasy, science fiction esque. Uh, let me see, other fantasy writers, Neil Gaiman, uh, of course, um, let me see, who else? Um, bam, I, 
can't think of any off the, uh, any else, anyone else off the top of my head. Anyway, okay, so moving on. Um, I have to admire all of the things you have going on. How do you find the energy? I sleep a lot. <laughs> That's how I find the energy. I sleep a lot. Okay, so thanks the Duck Chick for those series of questions. Now we're back to Snowy Claire with her next couple of questions. She says, as an author yourself and venturing into comics, would you let other re would you let others retcon or continue your character stories such as many, if not all, the Marvel and DC superheroes have been? No. And the reason for that being is because I write mini series. Um like uh, the, the comic that I currently have in production, that's only planned for a 12 book series. It's a, it's a, it's a mini series, you know? And the, the new story that's currently in development, um, I can only see that being maybe also 12 to 13 uh, with the possibility of a sequel. So I write mini series. I don't, to be honest, I don't care. I don't care much for um, for for long ongoing series in comics or in manga for that gener uh, for that matter. I don't I don't care for them. I don't. Um, I think that those stories lose their steam far too far too early. And uh, I mean, I just I just think a series running that long is ridiculous. I really do. Um, so no, I wouldn't allow anyone to retcon mine because they're short. Um, all right. Will you do any countdowns of some sort? Wait. Will you do any countdowns of some sort in the future? Top villains, top anime shows, uh, top anime characters, or comic book heroes? I don't know. Um, I've I've been asked multiple times in the past to do like countdown videos. Usually they've been from like the same few people. Uh, I, I tell you this. Um, because currently I am working on coming up with new video ideas for the summer. So if I get enough requests for like, you know, some type of like countdown video, um, I'll do it. If not, I probably won't. Okay. Now, uh, next question. Countries you would like to travel to and why? Countries I would like to travel to and why? Number one, Ireland. I would love to visit Ireland. Um, reason for that being is because I am of Irish descent, or so I've been told that I have Irish um, descendants, and I love the countryside. I love the countryside. Um, I love the music. I love, well, I haven't had too much authentic Irish food. Um, I would really, really like to check out some of the uh, the uh, the authentic Irish liquor. <laughs> I, I, I really would. Um, but yeah, so countryside. Okay, wait. Uh, heritage, countryside. Um, uh, I, I guess the food, the booze, the music, and the women. Oh, I'm a sucker for a redhead. I'm sorry. I, I just am. I just am. So I would really like to check out Ireland. Um, other countries. Let's see. Japan, of course. Um, for various reasons. Um, let me see. Other countries. Other countries. Other countries. Brazil. I would love to go to Brazil. Um, j just all the stories my dad told me when I was little about going to Brazil. Um, and yeah, also, of course, because of women. I'm sorry. Brazilian women. Uh, uh, oh. Oh, another reason. Um, I would really like to check out like some authentic capoeira practitioners in Brazil. Um, that's a martial arts style that I'm getting more and more into, and I would really like to see some of the pros like you know practice it. So that's another reason why I'd like to check out Brazil. Um, I'm trying to think. Any other countries? Eventually, I would like to uh, take a trip to Africa. Um, which is a continent. Well, I, I don't know where in Africa exactly. Um, not sure yet. And Spain. I would I would really like to check out Spain. Um, kind of for the same reasons, you know, music, the scenery, the food, women. Oh, the Spanish women. Italy. Yes, 
that's another one I would really love to check out Italy um, I'm a huge fan of the uh, Renaissance of the Italian Renaissance so I would really like to check it more so Italy more so than any other place for the artwork and the architecture definitely oh man Rome I would love to check out Rome um, love to okay spending too much time on that question moving on um Okay, next one comes from Jay's Playground. Jay's man, uh, Jay Mans. He asks, my que uh, my one question is, when making one of your characters for a comic, do you base them off of real people around you? If yes, have exact do how exactly uh, do you make the personality to the real person? Good question. Um, First off, when I create a character, whether or not they're based off of a real person, it depends on, it depends. Um, the comic I'm currently working on is is based off of real people that I know. Um, those characters were influenced by some of my friends and family. And what happens is this, usually if I base a character around a real person, I take, you know, what about that person that I want to transfer into this character and through the process of writing the character the character actually develops a personality of their own so while they may have traits that are similar to the person that influenced them in the first place the end all be all result when that character is finished is completely different it's, it's, it's a different character They're the, they are their own person in their own right so that's usually how I tackle that Alright, next series of questions come from Donovan Barry. He has a couple. Um, okay, what was the first anime you ever saw? First anime I ever saw, I believe, was Ronin Warriors. Um, are you a fan of Supernatural? Yes. Um, are you on Stick Cam? No. It, um, if it was possible, what 80s slash 90s cartoons would you like to see in Blu-ray HD? Um, if it was possible, 80s or 90s cartoons, I would like to see. Um, to be honest, I would like to see SWAT Cats, the Radical Squadron, if they had that on Blu-ray. I don't know if any of you all remember that, but I was a huge fan of that show as a kid. SWAT Cats, that was my shit. That's my shit, man. Um, yeah. Um, what were your thoughts on Turtles Forever? I thought it was cool. Um, I, I, I thought it was funny. Um, what were what were thoughts on the Wild Cats cartoons based on the comics? Wild Cats cartoon based on the comics? Don't know that cartoon. Wild Cats? I don't think I know that cartoon. Um, has Dwayne McDuffie been an influence on your comic book work? Um, has Dwayne McDuffie... Okay. Dwayne McDuffie has not been a direct influence on my work, but he has been one of the, he has been a comic book writer and um, creator that I have admired. Um, the fact, I mean, if nothing else, um, he has done good work. You know, I was, you know, huge fan of Static Shock, but um, the thing was when I actually found out, you know, who Dwayne McDuffie was when I, uh, by the time I was in high school, I don't know. Make I think it was just the fact that you know it was. He was one of the biggest African American comic book creators in the industry, and that in itself was enough. Where it's like, hey man, I see that guy. He's doing things. That's fucking cool. So, like I said, Dwayne McDuffie hasn't been a direct influence on my work, but he has been um, an influence on me. Uh, do you have a big family? You have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what were your thoughts on the first two seasons of Digimon if you've seen them? To be honest with you, I'm a huge fan of the third season. I did not, I know, I know, I know, what Larry, are you crazy? I know, but hear me out. I was, I, I was a huge Pokemon fan back then. I, I, I didn't get into Digimon until season three. And yes, season three, when you got fucking Gilmon and Takato and um, the rest of them, I mean, season three, that was my shit. That was the season that got me into Digimon. So, 
I wasn't big into the first two seasons. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Season three. That was my shit. Um. Okay. Okay. Wow. Uh, Devon Bear got two more. What other box sets do you have? What other box sets do I have? Smallville, Yu Hakusho. Um, do I have any other box sets outside of those? I'm trying to think. I'm not sure. Like, um, like I, you know, I, I have a lot of series, but they're not like the actual box sets. Uh, I'll admit most of those were burned. Um, yeah. Just off the top of my head, those, those are the only two I can really, uh, I can really think of box sets that I'm that I want to get. Though I need to get uh, Boy Meets World. I need to get um, Gilmore Girls. Yes, I said Gilmore Girls. I'm a fucking huge fan of that series. You don't like it? Fuck you. Um, I need to get The Sopranos. Let's see what other box sets. Of course, I need to get Avatar: The Last Airbender. I need to get all of those. Um, so yeah, I got some box set buying to do. Okay, next up. All right, this one is coming from Armenian Productions, and he says, Larry, what are your dreams and aspirations? What are my dreams and aspirations? This is a really good question. This was one that I actually wanted to uh, talk about for a while um, when people ask me what my actual dream is. Because like I said, you know, I want to be a comic book writer. Well, I want to be a writer in general. Because like I said, I, I'm currently I'm working on two comic books. I have a novel that I need to get back on. But to be honest with you all, um, my dream and the reason why I decided to choose the career I wanted to do was that I want to influence the next generation of creators. That's my dream. Um, I want, one, I, for one day, I want, uh, you know, some kid, uh, hopefully, and, and I don't mean hopefully as in I'm wishing this upon somebody, but I mean, I would really like for like one day, you know, there'll be some kid, some kid who had a similar upbringing that I did, some kid who might, you know, grow up in the projects, or some kid that might have grew, grown up in the slums, some kids who might have had, you know, an abusive parent, some kid who might be going through a divorce, some kid who might have contemplated suicide, some kid who might have just lost their best friend, some kid who's like just in the worst fucking rut they could ever find themselves in, and one day they just, you know, turn on the TV and they see a cartoon inspired by one of my comics, or you know, their friend, you know, hey, man, I, I, you know, I got this comic, you should check this dude out. And then the kid looks, you know, he reads it. And then, you know, he goes online. He's like, wait a minute. It's like the guy who wrote this, Larry Williams, is like, wait, this dude, he grew up in New Orleans. It's like, man, this dude's from the same neighborhood I'm from. And it's like, whoa, he went through all this stuff. And it's like, wow, he, you know, he, he made it. And it's like, man, if he can do it, then I know I can do it too. And then they just start creating. That's my fucking dream. That's what I want. I want the next generation to see my work and have that inspire them to go out and seek those dreams for themselves. That's my dream. That's my dream and that's my uh, aspirations. Um, who is your greatest inspiration? That's a toughie. Uh, I have a lot of inspirations. Amongst my greatest inspirations, I would have to say um, Akira Toriyama, Ursula K. Le Guin, um, uh, Neil Gaiman, um, uh, Alan Moore, uh, Jerry Siegel, Joe Schuster, Stanley, Frank Miller, Jack Kirby, Mark Millar. Um, that's my 20 minute mark. Um, so which one of those is my greatest inspiration? <sighs> Damn, that's a tough one. Uh, I, 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 I really can't answer that one. Um, yeah, like I said, I, out, of, out of all the names I just mentioned, I, I can't pick which one's my greatest inspiration. Uh, Okay, you know what? I tell you what. I take that back. Who is your greatest inspiration? I tell you what. I take that back. 
my greatest inspiration are my friends and family. Uh, they're the ones like when you know sh sh shout out to all my friends who watch my videos and you know all my family members who watch my vids because whenever I make something and they get excited about it like like I mentioned at the beginning of this video that's that's inspiration for me you see what I'm saying that's that's the type of thing that keeps me going uh, where do you see yourself in five years still making YouTube videos where do I see myself in five years hopefully with a job um, and hopefully I will have some work out in the industry by then but you know that's a that's a um, that's a very tough comic book industry is extremely tough to break into um, will I still be making YouTube videos to be honest with you all I don't know um, I'm not sure I would uh, I would imagine though like um, you know, let's say one, once I actually do make it into the industry and once I have to start producing work, um, I don't know what OAW will look like by then. My idea was to make it into a vlog channel um, by then because that's the only thing I would actually have time to do. I don't know if I'll still be doing reviews by then. I don't know. Five years is a long time from now. So we'll see what happens. Um, okay, do I have any more questions on this? No. Those were the last questions in this. Okay, so with, let's see, with three minutes left, let's see how many of these questions I can answer from the comment section in last week's video. Um, video. Let's see. Okay, <laughs> freaking, oh, fuck, you, fuck you, John. <laughs> John asks, do you smoke marijuana? I will never, ever admit to anything so self-incriminating. Um, okay, so this one comes from Omaru Omarua. Uh, are, will you ever do that Justice League Doom review? I will. I will do Justice League Doom um when my comic book Hollywood segment kicks back up in the summer. That's when I'll review that. Um, let's see. Sango Forever asks, are you going to do more Teen Titan reviews? I saw you did one as a video response. Not sure. Um, it would, the Teen Titans review would probably be the same thing like my countdown videos. If people request it and, you know, vote for it and you know keep requesting then I'll probably do that um actually now that I think about it I probably could review Teen Titans as part of comic book Hollywood because that's a comic book adaptation it's a series but it's still an adaptation who knows who knows um I could uh I own the spire he asks why don't you review video games okay good question the reason why I don't do video game reviews is because, to be honest with you all, I don't have the time. Um, my thing is this, I could do video game first impressions, right? But that's not the same thing as a, re as a review. A review requires for me to have play through the game, to you know get in depth with it, to be able to break it down fundamentally, to critique it. I don't do that with video games because number one, I don't race through video games. I like to take my time with video games, you know. Um, I like to enjoy video games. So I don't just, you know, hurry up and play through it so I can review it. No, I don't do that. Um, also, you have to keep in mind, not too many people flock to video game reviews for video games that have been out for a while. You see what I'm saying? It's hard for me to do video game reviews because video game reviews would require for me to A, obtain... <laughs> Number one, obtain the video games when they first come out. Number two, to race through them for the sake of doing a review. And then for number three, doing a review that may be half-assed because I wasn't able to break down, you know, to actually get engaged in the video game. And like I said, that destroys the video game experience for me. I like to buy the games I want to buy. I like to sit down, enjoy them, take my time with them. I don't like to rush through them. So, that's my thing. Um... So like I said, I could do video game first impressions, but that's not the same thing as, as a review. So just so you all know about that. 
And what are some of your favorite slash least favorite video games? Um, as far as video game, okay, some of my favorite video game uh, series ever. Uh, the WWE, well, back then it was WWF. Uh, the WWF SmackDown series, um, pretty much from SmackDown 2 up until SmackDown 2006. Love those games. Um, Final Fantasy 7, of course. Final Fantasy 7 VII and 8, I love those. I actually like Final Fantasy 10. I know a lot of people don't. I actually like Final Fantasy 10. Um, the Kingdom Hearts series, I love those. Um, the. Prince of Persia, Sands of Time trilogy, so Sands of Time, Warrior Within, and uh, Two Thrones. Love those. And let's see, other video games. Um, let me see. Okay, uh, the UFC games. Though, uh, those are some of my favorite games right now. Believe it or not, I actually like Madden. Madden and NCAA, I like those two games. Um, the Transformers, uh, War for Cybertron, that one, and Fall of Cybertron. Um, well, War for Cybertron I love, Fall for Cybertron I'm looking forward to. Um, let's see, uh, the DOA fighting series, I've always liked those, those are my favorite fighting games. Well, the DOA fighting series and the King of Fighter games, um, my favorite of those would be DOA... DOA 3 and King of Fighters 99. Love those games. Um, yeah, so those are some of my favorite video games. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to wrap up this Q&A video. I know that I still got a shit ton of questions. I know I still got a shit ton of questions. And let's see. How many Thursdays are left in April? There's one more Thursday left in April. And in all honesty, I should reserve that Thursday for my anime favorites. Hmm. I tell you what. This is what I'll do. This is what I'll do. I'll let you all vote in the comments below. Let me know. Do you, next week, do you want either my third Q&A video where I'll try to knock out the rest of these questions or do you want my anime favorites for April, which will be uh, Cowboy Bebop? So, in the comments below, uh, I'll leave the comments. You all just thumbs up which one you want. And please, no more questions for the time being because I got a shit ton of other questions that I haven't yet um, knocked out. So, no more questions. Just no more. All right. So uh, wrapping up this video, what you all can uh, keep an eye out for later on this week. Tomorrow, my Ultimate Fighter live episode recap. Saturday, Thundercats and the Legend of Korra reviews returning to OAW. And then Sunday, my Game of Thrones episode review. But with that said, this has been Larry Williams, OAW Command in Chief. I'm signing off. And until next time, peace.